Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial session, we are going to install Kali Linux on Windows 11 virtually. Here we are going to use Oracle VirtualBox. So friends, first you need to install Oracle VirtualBox Manager, then you can proceed with this tutorial. So I request you, so please install it first. You can follow any of the video available on the YouTube to install Oracle VirtualBox. And then come back here and let's continue. So first open your Chrome browser. And here we are going to download the Kali Linux for the virtual machine. So what you have to write here in the search box, type this statement and press enter. Then you will see the website open in the new tab. So this is the official website Kali.org. And here we have some different images, virtual machine options as well. So not going to proceed with the installer image. Here we are going to download the virtual machine specific image. So select this option. Okay, now we are here on this pre-built virtual machine images section. In this section, we have to choose this one. This is for virtual box. Just click on it. And soon that uh, the Kali Linux start downloading and you can see the size is 3.3 GB so you have to wait for a few minutes if you have a very good internet speed so this will be quick so friends I have already downloaded this file so I'm not going to proceed with here and I'm going to stop this one I'm going inside the download folder where I have downloaded this file so this is the place where I have downloaded so the file will be downloaded with the extension .7zip. You can extract it with the help of the 7zip software or you can simply do the right click and extract here option. Okay, when you come in the extracted folder, folder you will find .vbox file and the second file which is .vdi means virtual disk image. So we have already pre-configured setup for the vbox. And the second file is the image file, which is 14 GB file, right? So the file size was big. That's why this will be hosted with the help of .7 zip as a compressed format, right? If you want to extract, you can use the Windows right click option and extract, right? Now come inside the folder, choose this file, do the double click on it. And then you will find your virtual box manager will be opened and here you will find the entry of this Kali Linux, right? So this is the pre-configured file and on the right hand side, you can see the settings already there, but we have to check it once. So go to the settings button and then this small window will appear. Here you will find this, the type is Linux and subtype is Debian. And when you go to the advanced, you can see the clipboard and drag and drop is set to bi-directional. This is fine. And leave the rest of the two tabs as it is. I'm not going to check this disk encryption. Okay, now go to the next one. This is system. So this time the base memory is set to 2 GB around. You can increase it as per the available memory in your system so i'm going to increase a little bit okay now come to the processor so here you can allocate the processor by moving this slider right now 12 cpus available so among them you can choose two three four right so assign around four and go to the next leave the other settings by default now go to the display. Here you can see video memory is set to 128, the maximum position. Do not change and come to this graphic controller, which is set to VMSVGA. Suppose in case of starting the Kali Linux, you will get some error message. Then we will come at this place and we will change this graphic controller to VBOX SVGA. Now go to the storage. Okay come this point at controller right so at this node 
you must have this Kali Linux VirtualBox AMD64.VDI must be linked here. If this is not linked, so you have to do it manually. You can see the location from where it is linked. This is the same location where we have unzipped our downloaded file. So friend, this is the same VDI file. Suppose in case if this is not present in your settings, so you have to do the right click on the controller and then click on this add button and browse the location. Go to that place where you have the downloaded VDI file. So just choose this dot VDI file and click on this open button. Here I'm not going to do this because this file is already present and linked. So we are good to proceed. I hope this is clear to you. Now we can click OK. That's it. Settings verified and updated. Now we are good to start this machine. Now click on this start button. Very soon you will see this kind of box window. And then the home of this Kali Linux. You can press enter. And this will start loading and initiating the Kali Linux interface in this virtual machine first time. So don't worry about the some messages appeared and very soon you will see this dragon image and then you will be redirected to the login screen. So friends, you have to enter user which is K-A-L-I and the password is the same K-A-L-I. Now click login. Okay. Once you click login, this will be maximized and this will acquire the complete screen size of your Windows operating system. And this is loaded properly. Now, if you want to go on the full screen, go to the view option, click on the full screen mode. And then this pop up will appear, click switch. And now this is expanded. Now you can work on a full screen mode on your Kali Linux. Let's open a terminal. Let's check everything is working or not. So I'm going to simply type a command and type any command. Suppose if config and press enter and then you will see the results. So friends, we have seen the results and this Kali Linux is properly working here in the virtual box on your Windows operating system. And friends, a lot of things are here. You can launch the browser. The Firefox is by default available here. Let's check it. Internet is working or not at this place. Okay, this is loading. So first, let's open a website, coolithelp.com. Wait for a few seconds and the page is loaded successfully. So friends, we have seen the internet is also working here properly. And this is my website. If you want to donate something, you can simply click on my website and buy a coffee for me. And this will be a great help from your side. Also, you can subscribe my website for upcoming any latest technical post. So friends, this is the way you can install Kali Linux virtually on your Windows 11 with the help of VirtualBox. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.